Mark Lobliner, Machine Training Solutions, and the TigerFitness.com email, Ask the Machine. The question comes from Dave Cook. Dave wrote, Supplements pre and post cardio. It seems like pre and post weight training are covered quite often, but, off, but pre and post cardio don't seem to get as much attention. Specifically, maybe touching on the difference between LISS and HIT cardio. LISS is low intensity steady state cardio, walking, elliptical, step mill, uh, just constant state of slow speed. <clears throat> and as even one step further, would supplements like creatine and beta alanine pre cardio be beneficial? I think pre-cardio, pre-hit, you could use what you do for weight training. Either a fat burner, like the new one MTS Nutrition is coming out with. Um, Anabolic Extreme Slim FX is out there. Those are good to take. I love your Himbine. Pre-cardio, love it. Um, you can read some articles. There's some beautiful, beautiful recommendations on dosing. Um, for that, of course, work your way up and assess tolerance per your individual uh, um, tolerance. But basically, pre-hit, think about it as pre-weight training. Hit elicits the same hormones as weight training, but also throw in some yambine. So if you do take a pre-workout like Animal Rage, like Novum, like Jack 3D, maybe you could back down that dosage a little and add in your yohimbine. Um, I think it's 0.2 milligrams per kilo of body weight, but do not start at that. For me, that's like seven capsules of the Primal Force Yohimbine, available at TigerFitness.com. Buy the Yohimbine HCL, not the Yohimbi Bark. The Yohimbi Bark, the dosing's all over the place. The Yohimbine, the Yohimbine HCL is the pharmaceutical stuff. It's actual concrete good dosing. So I recommend going with that as it works better. Now that's pre-hit. Pre-low intensity steady state depends who you talk to. I like to do low intensity steady state either in the morning with something on your belly. I always like to have something on my stomach when I wake up. Take a protein shake, some MTS Nutrition Whey, some Yohimbi, and some uh, pre-workout. You could take some of that or a fat burner, like the new fat burner coming out by MTS Nutrition called Drop Factor. So those are what I'd recommend. Essentially, think of it this way. High intensity interval training, boom, pre-workout plus Yohimbi. Then you got low intensity steady state, boom, fat burner plus probably some extra Yohimbi depending on your needs and your tolerance. Post weight training, post hit, I will have my bulking guys drink a post workout shake. Replenish that bad boy. For those of you who are dieting, I recommend eating your next meal. And as a step further, would supplements like creatine, beta alanine be beneficial? Pre-cardio. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, you're increasing blood flow. It might help delivery. Creatine is going to get delivered anyway. Beta alanine, I mean, you know, you're looking at 6 to 12 grams a day. I mean, get it whenever you can. Pre-cardio is not a bad time to get that in. I also don't recommend taking all 6 to 12 grams at once because paresthesis, which is itchy, tickling, ting tingly skin, above 2 grams is pretty harsh for some. So that's why you split it up into divided doses. One reason. Another is absorption. So there you have it. This is Mark Lobliner. TigerFitness.com asked the machine. Machine Training Solutions Daily Tip. Peace out.